What is up guys, we are back with some more Fire Emblem and we have this dialogue between Gilbert and Rodrigue. We and won't be able to they're talking about troops advancing. Lifts. No matter which path we take, we'll have to be patient and wait it out. Gilbert? No? Gustav. I would like to take this opportunity to speak with you about something. It's about the tragedy of Dusker. There's something about it I just can't wrap my head around. I'm listening. I lost a son in Dusker that day. I exhausted every last resource I had to investigate what took place there. I was startled to find that there wasn't a single shred of evidence to suggest that Lady Patricia's carriage had been attacked. Go on. Apart from His Highness, whose injuries left him on the verge of death, everyone else present at the time was slaughtered. Of all the victims, only the corpse of Lady Patricia, His Majesty's second wife, was never found. Isn't that right? Hmm. Surely that means she was abducted. There was no evidence of an attack, suggesting they threatened her, but did not kill her. But what reason would they have to take her? Would it not have been better to kill her? Perhaps she had some value as a diplomatic pawn. Nonsense. In the many years since that day, has Lady Patricia ever been used thus? No, not as far as I know. Then perhaps she was used for some political gain within the Empire. Now that her daughter is the Emperor, what reason would she have to keep hiding her existence? It is possible she passed away after returning to the Empire. Gustav. I know this is hard for you to hear, but just consider what it would mean if Lady Patricia was involved with that incident. Silence, Rodrigue. I will not allow you to tarnish her memory like that. I do not mean to imply that she arranged His Majesty's murder or anything of the like. But Gustav, I cannot shake the feeling that the tragedy was part of a much larger conspiracy. There is more to it than we know. That much is certain. Rodrigue! Gilbert! Please hurry! To kill like this is inhuman. This is one of the knights we dispatched to the leader of the Alliance. Tell me everything you know. Sir, a soldier on patrol came across this knight a short while ago, in a rocky area not far from here. Someone from the Alliance must have disposed of the body there. Is this how the Alliance chose to inform us that they have no intention of joining our cause? I would not hesitate to believe them capable of this. Whatever the truth is, the other knights we dispatched are in serious danger. It's best to assume that joining with the Alliance is out of the question now. Even with Count Karen's support, this makes our situation grim. Very. I never expected the Alliance to help us. Anyone who stands in my way will be crushed beneath my feet. Okay, bro. We get it. We get it. You hate everybody. Dear brother. Who wore a grander? I am grateful. The Kingdom Army departs from the Great Bridge of Murden and marches south toward Enbar, the Imperial capital. Meanwhile, the Alliance Army follows from behind to invade Imperial territory, and the Empire has dispatched forces from Fort Mercius to intercept them. The curtain is rising on a conflict between the three armies which will come to be known as the Battle at Grander, held on the same plains that witnessed the Battle of the Eagle and Lion.
Hmm. Who's in that shouldn't be in? I don't know, I kind of like having him out there. It's just a matter of who would we switch you out for? I feel like Annette, she's not too useful, at least compared to Ash right now. Um, I think I'll, that'll probably be what I do. I'll probably just take my chances and have Ash in. And then who are you? You're attached to Mercedes. Probably forgot about like leaving Felix out. But okay, I guess we'll give. Give you somebody. Let's hope this decision was right. Okay, cutscene. Holy crap. Hello, fireball. Know that I will tear your heads from your shoulders. The <laughs> dead must have care. their tribute. As big class reunions go, this one's got to be the worst in history. Oh, Years snap. ago, we fought here as classmates. But not today. Keep that bang on. Kill every last one of them. And so we fight on. You have finally appeared, Edelgard. Now, you are mine. Kingdom Army doesn't look too interested in joining forces with us. Let's take a moment to see how this all unfolds. It would not be advantageous to take on both at once. We must stop the Kingdom and the Alliance from joining forces. I will create such chaotic warfare that they won't be able to tell who is friend and who is foe. Ooh, you scandalous. Alrighty, so... Just a matter of who do I want to take out the I'd be honored. At least this will break the bow. I'll comply. As I expected. Put me in there. What's the plan? Ready when you are. Uh, plan is to go hella far away. Let's see if that's like a pretty good decision or not. I want to just like have everybody go down like this middle area. My orders. But I feel like uh, what's my strategy? Edelgard will make that kind of difficult for us. At your service. More fighting. <laughs> Mounted units, advance. Stay back. Stay back, girls, shoot. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, that's right. Bernadetta, she still hates being outside. That's like one of her things. Um, <laughs> oddly enough, is she's creeped out about being out in public. Predictable. Uh, I was hoping he would get a crit. <laughs> Them levels, girl. I'll make up for this. Oh, Didn't want to do it to you. At least died at home. Not this. Big, stupid field. That kind of worked out. Bernadetta, thank you. I'll make sure your life was not lost in vain.
Yeah, I guess I'm fine with them getting just some EXP. is in danger of being taken. We must be running to protect it. You're interfering with the plan. Looks like I'll just have to get rid of you. Oh my god. Oh, I'm... <laughs> the Empire and Kingdom are mixed up in this battle. Such are the rules of melee. We'll just have to... Okay, great. Now you guys are enemies. Press, but I'll give it my all. I am not going to hold back. I can't let down my dear old Claude. Okay, at least it's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Ooh, that's a bad matchup. There we go. And for Bridget, I will be defeating all of you. I can't be fighting anymore. I must be retreating now. Don't worry. You must live on to lead your people. Those fools who went up the hill will pay with their lives in the crimson flame. Oh, crap. Are they really not letting us move? Wow. Uh, if that's the case. can definitely put me in there move these guys elsewhere real quick what's the plan when you are okay so you're not a good matchup <laughs> my orders what's my strategy Danger my life. Your Majesty, I must withdraw. No need to worry. We still have some troops left. So long as I stand, we won't give up. All right, that kind of worked out better for More us. Fighting. 
at your service. I need to have her heal someone up. Sweet of you. I just know they'll end up taking her out. <laughs> I'd be honored. For a Drestia. I can't be At least we took out more that way. I must be retreating. I'm taking now. her out. Kind of last. Don't worry, those fools. You didn't forget about me, did you? Maybe you should just let me go. <laughs> I'm oh, snap. You done messed my boy up. How strong is this girl, though? I gotta go to at least before I move to Sylvain. Which was just after you defeated him. I'll comply. Fighting on me. No need to worry. I am prepared. At your service. Thanks so much. More fighting. You're ready. What's the plan? Hilda is so freaking strong. I wish I recruited her now. It's kind of scary how strong she is. For a Drestia. No use. And you miss? Wow. I didn't Ready even when you miss. Are. my strategy I should kind of just move my guy back have this knight like follow us as we run back to fight this girl cuz oh my god this strength is at 33 yikes and then she she's using a relic weapon too that's definitely oh wait she does she gets two hits of 26. Okay, these guys can survive that. <laughs> At least I hope so. I'm probably gonna lose Ash. Yep. You didn't forget about time. 
Okay, we lost two people that time. I don't know, this one's like a hard decision, guys, on how to even get through here. You're actually alive. Anyway, I am helping Claude build. I can't hold back just be. Alrighty, now it kind of seems like everybody's in a position where we want them to be. So they have hella range. We're gonna take Don't this risk. Me to go easy <laughs> on you because I won't. I thought I'd be able to live. This is like the importance of recruiting, guys. If, if you recruit more people from people's um, houses, then you won't have to fight all these people. I think that's a better spot to wait at. Hell 
Oh yeah. Okay, maybe he's about to get his shit rocked now. <laughs> Oh, they almost took him out. Without power. There's no way you're going to be. God.
I'm glad I can count on you. Let's go. I knew when next we met, one of our paths would have to come to an end. Your journey ends here, Professor. Forever. Uh, you thought. Destroy both the kingdom and the alliance. Now, with one step. Mm. I lost. Just as expected, you aren't making my path an easy one. I must retreat for now. We'll meet again. Okay, I was just hoping that they didn't let that fire kill off Ash. <laughs> I took a chance with that. So, you think you can escape Edelgard? Your Highness, you're alive. We have to retreat to the Great Bridge of Murden. That woman. We failed to capture her. I will keep pursuing. The rest of you, keep fighting. I'm so sorry, but we can't do that. I understand how you feel, but the Imperial Army is closing in. I'll kill all of them, no matter how many hundreds or thousands of them there are! <sighs> you! What are you doing here? It's too dangerous! Fall back! Now! Who are you trying to kill? <laughs> Your Highness! You are... Did she actually cut him? I think he has armor on his back. My, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, have I caught you off guard, your highness? Aww, does it hurt? I bet it hurts real bad, doesn't it? It's nothing compared to what my brother felt. You will never be forgiven, you know. I will never forgive you. <laughs> you. You must be. You filthy monster. It's time to die! Dimitri! Oh, snap. Ah, huh. Professor, do it now! I don't get why he couldn't use his sword, though. Brother, help me. Rodrigue! Your Highness, are you safe? Please tell me it wasn't in vain. This punishment, it was mine to bear. There are no sins or punishments on the battlefield. No, don't die. Please don't die. Father, stepmother, Glenn, they all died and left me behind. Roderick, 
Are you to join the ghosts who shadow my every move? This is my fault. I... I'm the one who killed you. As surely as though I had wielded the blade. <laughs> Your Highness, you have one thing terribly wrong. None of them, none of us, died for you. I'm dying for what I believe in, just as they did. Your life is your own. It belongs to no other, living or dead. Live for what you believe in. Dimitri, my boy, you really do look just like his majesty. What are you saying, Lambert? I am heading to Dusker, and before you start, nothing you could say Damn, would change my mind. You worry too much, my friend. So far, relations with Dusker have been going smoothly, wouldn't you say? You, of all people, should appreciate how critical these negotiations are. Of course I do, but for the king himself to make the journey, you must admit that it's dangerous. And his highness is still so young. If the worst should happen, even if the worst should happen, he would be okay. He's a smart boy, Roderick. Even if he should lose his father, I have no doubt that he will grow to be a good and respectable man. Lambert. However, if he ever starts down the wrong path, and I am not here to set him straight, I am trusting you to do so in my stead, old friend. Promise me. Lambert, my promise, I... What do you want? It doesn't concern you. Get out of my way. No. Silence! You have no idea what you're talking about. Death is the end. No matter how much lingering regret a person has, after death, they are powerless. They cannot even wish for revenge, much less seek it out. Hatred, regret, those burdens fall on the shoulders of those who are left behind. And so I must continue down this path. I already told you as much. It is far too late to stop. Do not waste your breath with some nonsense about how I should move on with my life for their sake. That is merely the logic of the living. It's meaningless. Those who died with lingering regret, they will not loose their hold on me so easily. But you seem to have all the answers. So tell me, Professor. Please tell me. How do I silence their desperate pleas? How do I... How do I save them? Ever since that day, nine years ago, I have lived only to avenge the fallen. Even my time at the Officer's Academy was also that I could secure my revenge and clear away the regret of the dead. It was the only thing that kept me alive. My only reason to keep moving forward. And who or what should I live for? The kingdom. What I believe in. <laughs> Rodrigue said the same thing. But is it possible? I am a murderous monster. My hands are stained red. Could one such as I truly hope for such a life? As the sole survivor of that day, do I... 
Do I have the right to live for myself? Live for your bloodline or something. I don't know. Better than nothing. Your hands are so warm. Have they always been? Part 2, Azure Moon, Harpstring Moon, The King's Triumphant Return. Following the death of Rodri, Dimitri begins to question his desire for revenge. His troubled mind turns to the kingdom capital and how he might end the chaos plaguing Fargus once and for all. I'm just wondering how it's going to work out being that I took out the other alliance. Now this fight was hella annoying. Our victory at Drondor was certainly a turning point for us. However, Rodrigue's death has been difficult to bear. We've lost considerable military strength and resources. If we split up the soldiers currently defending the monastery, we should have sufficient numbers to invade the Empire. But even then... Your Highness, you should be resting. Your wounds are still healing. I am well, I assure you. More importantly, may I have a moment of your time? Thank you. Ah, he's going back to the old I Dimitri. wish to apologize to all of you. I have led you down this dark path with me and have caused so much suffering along the way. I cannot tell you how sorry I am for my behavior. There is no apology I could offer that would be sufficient. <laughs> then how do you intend to make up for my father's death? Felix, I realize words alone are not enough to repent, but I fear they are all I have. I'm not after more empty words. I want you to speak through your actions. I know that no amount of regret can ever bring back the lives we have lost. I... I know that well. It is like patching up a tear with a different material. Things can never be as they were. The best I can hope for is to make things whole again. I wish to do the right thing from now on. That is why I have made a decision. I intend to take back the kingdom capital. I wish to save our people. Those who I turned my back on for far too long. To follow my heart and do the right thing. Is the only way I can atone for my sins. Your Highness. <clears throat> if we can win back Ferdiad, it will give us the advantage in our war against the Empire. As one who has served the royal family for ages, know that your words bring me great joy and pride. That said, I must point out that if we make for Ferdiad, the Emperor's head will slip further out of reach. Can you live with that? I still hold hatred in my heart for her, and for the ones responsible for the tragedy. That I will carry with me until death. But my life is my own. It belongs to no one else, and it is high time that I started living for what I believe in. I will no longer allow the voices of the dead to bind me. This is something that I must do. No. Something that I am choosing to do. I will accomplish my aim, even if it means risking my life to do so. Understood, Your Highness. So, any objections? You are correct. 
We cannot afford to die in vain by recklessly challenging the Empire. I'm worried about Lady Rhea. But if this is the choice you've made, I support it. I am at your command, Your Highness. I will follow you anywhere. My sword is at your service, Your Highness. I'll help too. The people in Ferdiad need us. Fine. I'll help you. In my father's stead. But in return, you must win. You know that, don't you, Dimitri? I do. And I swear on my father's lance that we will prevail. Then it is decided. It seems this war council has much to discuss. Our next stop is Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. For the future of Fargus. For the future of Fargus. Oh man, finally. Guys, I'm gonna end off this episode here. I got a lot of chopping to do for this one. This is like almost an hour and a half long episode uh, before the edit. Had to do a lot of rewinds with Divine Pulse, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, make sure to leave a like for the video, it helps out the video, and also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. And with that said, take it easy. Later.